Previously on McLeod's Daughters. Hey, 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 I'm not going anywhere. I won't even be Rob anymore. You have to understand that. I forgot about the most important bit, Sue. What? The bit about you saving Rob's life. What are you doing? Making you pay. Oh, my God, the mine accident. You killed my dad! So you reckon you could handle me as CFS boss, then? Never said I couldn't. How about a one-on-one -on -one training session, just you and me? It sounds a lot like a date to me. You can call it what you want. Too bad yourself, considering the big night you had. <laughs> hey, Jode. Yeah. Over there. I'll get him. Someone's chirpy. Hmm. You lose something. No. I knew exactly where they were. This might be yours as well. I told you last night, keep it until you've read it all. Already have. Are you trying to impress me? Ask me anything, go on. Well, maybe we should arrange another training session. I could question you then. Sounds good to me, Captain. Tonight, you know, while it's still fresh in my head, eh? Perfect. See ya. See ya. Shira should be here any minute, and we are right on schedule. Hey, you're right on time. We just got the last of the ship. Hi, oh. oh, Jody. What are you doing here? It's Matt. I got my real name back. I got my life back. It's over. All of it. I'm free. It's good to see you again, Jody. That's the plan. Right. Good. I have to get myself organised, find some work. I borrowed that old paddock basher, so at least I got wheels. Just wanted to come back to somewhere where I'd been really happy. 
Maybe we could catch up for a drink? Um... Uh, the, the timing's not great, actually. We, uh, we have to start sharing. Oh. Okay. Give me a call. Uh, I'm staying at the pub. See ya. He just turns up out of the blue. You didn't know he was coming. Of course not. He just showed up. I had no idea. Where well, is he staying? Well, he has to get a job. That's all I know. OK. That should cover lunch for everyone. Hey, Jodie, you make sure you eat something. You have to keep his strength up with all these men throwing themselves at her. <laughs> yeah, Riley's not going to be a happy camper. Um, I'm going to go call the shearers. They should be here by now. Don't believe in cues, mate. I was here first. First come, first served, eh, mate? You got it. After you. Sorry, Rolls. That pump packed it in this morning. G'day, mate. How you going? G'day, mate. You visiting or staying? Staying, hopefully. Yeah, right. Well, the one at the front's working, guys. Is that right? Thanks, Patrick. Beautiful, isn't it? It's all right. If you wanted to stick around for a bit. I doubt the others would be keen to have an arsonist on the property. Just to give yourself a bit of space. When's she heading off? I don't know. I don't know the tailor knows. Well, she can't just hang around here. Would you mind if she stayed a while, just till she finds her feet, decides what she wants to do? Or until you feel less guilty. Just watch her. She'll play you on her type. Confirm the shearers. Well, I thought you were doing it. Okay, I thought Kate was doing it. Well, we all better start paying more attention now that the roster queen is gone. Guess what? No shearers. They weren't confirmed. We can put it off for a few days, can't we? Well, we've already yarded the sheep. We don't have time to take them out and bring them back in again. Oh, great dodgy wiring. This is all we need. No, false alarm. All good. Can we do the shearing ourselves? We've got 500 yarded sheep. Well, don't worry about your other work. I can handle that. Patrick can cover for me at the truck stop. Right, well, Matt's looking for work. We can ask him. What do you reckon? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I mean, we need a worker. He needs work. Call him. <laughs> 